just the heat of the kitchen, the ones that were sitting there started to get very, very soft. And I was watching and thinking, oh no, not like that. Uh, it's too warm here, the uh, moose is starting running away. And... I'm a little bit stressed at this point, but really, really can only just do what we can and find the best ones to give to the guests. Talk to me, Kirsty, where are you at? Just making the filling for the ravioli. I've got the pasta resting, and then I can start filling it and producing the first sample. I've chosen to do the parma ham with the rock melon caviar. I wasn't aware at that particular point that it was anything other than little balls of melon. The actual reality was a little different. The process involved was quite precise in terms of timing, not quite as simple as I was hoping for. And how are you measuring? Uh, 330 mils per bottle. Right, Overall, I feel very good about my team. I think that we've got a, a very strong team. I know that we interact very well. Well, I'm suggesting that we just give it a, a, a I think we should probably have a go, mate. I had a pretty difficult canapé actually, it involved two different dishes. One was a relish, which was a kilo of red and yellow peppers with red curry, mustard seeds, sweet chilli sauce, and that was to go with a lamb kebab. And my first job is to finally cut the capsicums to make a brimoise, and um, I had to do a kilo. There's no white, there's no seeds, so that's it. Well, a brimoise is uh, when you cut a very, very small dice, maybe about 2 mil by 2 mil at the most. I think it was quite a delicious canapé, but uh, way too fiddly. Rob, move it faster, faster, come on. My canapé was to do fish and chips. I had to peel about 7 or 8 kgs of potatoes and cut 120 portions of fish. It was quite a big task. Um, we had three hours, I think it was, before we had to serve a sample to the head chef. It's a lot of pressure. The dish is a chilli chocolate mousse. You look further into it and there's a raspberry salad. I have to blend lots of raspberries for that and it has to set for about one hour. At the moment I am prepping for my vichyssoise, making the soups, peeling the potatoes. What's a vichyssoise? <laughs> it's pretty much cold soup. I also have to do the venison. I make it one, or you make the second one. You keep your knife under meat and push it on it. I'm quite nervous about doing the venison. It needs to be done perfectly the whole way through, and all the other pe and the meat needs to be consistent with the other pieces. So, so um, fingers crossed. Okie dokie. Okay. Have fun. Head chef gave me a rundown on how to trim the venison. We've never done it before, but as with a lot of things in this competition, time for everything. I think our team has a good understanding with one another. I think we can come together very easily. Yeah, I'm just glad I don't have Brett on the team because I think that could really, that could have created a lot of trouble and I'm kind of hoping that it does create trouble for the other team. Steve, where are you at? Just got our pear chutney on. I had to cook the scallops and prepare a pear and sultana chutney and a cauliflower puree. How long are they taking you? So a lot of the prep was getting the cauliflower puree all done and into squeezy bottles so we could squeeze it onto the scallop. Mark, talk to me. I am just about to heat up some espresso, mix some sugar with it until it's dissolved. I'm on the vanilla mascarpone with a amaretto jelly and coffee espuma, uh, which is like a foam to foam type thing topped with grated lady fingers. I had no idea what an espuma was to begin with. It was daunting, nerve-wracking, and exciting at the same time. Nigel, you are ahead, but you see how nice and clean they're working, how messy you guys are working? I don't you finish at work, you clean down afterwards. Put it down here, always clean as you go. All right, we've got, we've got fresh leather fishy sway here, and with a beautifully smoked venison, right, and some micro herbs. Go and sell it for us, do us well. I love the venison. Blue Team's venison was exquisite. That certainly had the wow factor as far as the taste was concerned. It was delicious. That's good. That's really good. I preferred the cold starter for the red. I, I like the simplicity. Um, the taste was really simple. I'd have to say that the prosciutto first up that from the red team would be my pick for the moment. Maybe a little bit more of the melon would have been good, but it's very tasty. Let's just hope they're getting enough food out for all these people. Exactly. People are complaining, I need the food right now. Hurry up, everyone. The people are still complaining. We were thinking of heading out the door to go and have some tea because we're, we're hungry. Come on, come on. Hello. 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 Five minutes, Jim.
I really think that's a bit are coming to me. Let's go. Volker starts yelling that plates aren't coming out fast enough. The guests are still hungry. Yes. We need scallops down. Yeah. We need ravioli down. Yes, yes, yes. Hot dishes, particularly, were you know, probably harder because you know, with the cold stuff, you can pre prepare it, chill it down, and it's in the fridge and ready to go. So, obviously, the hot stuff. We have to get out hot, so I guess both teams did kind of struggle with that. You know, we wanted it perfect. And so, yeah, the pressure really came on then. How you going, Ryan? What are you ordering? Yeah, yeah, we're getting everything out of the stage. Doing well. Flow's good. Hi, guys. Hot pan, mate. Hot pan. Okay. Three starters, three hot eaters. Eight of these. These ones can go, guys. What is this? Uh, this is a spicy mozzarella and a capsicum uh, relish. The lamb was very mild. The tomato relish was, was pleasant. On the red team at the moment, the lamb with the red stuff, that was awesome. So. It's quite sort of lamb fatty. You know what I mean? That's the closing lamb around the mouth of lamb, yeah. lamb fat. Mark, I want those scallops 10 seconds to go. Steve has a couple of scallops sent back. This is also water. It's meaning that they didn't cook it up properly on the other side. That's why if you're serving the high profile people, I don't accept something like this. They're leaking water into the thing. Water? So they're not cooked properly. Look, does your pan is quite hot with your scallops. I throw around eight scallops in the bin already. They complain that the scallops are leaking water, but I'm drying them, so I'm going to dry them better. I must say I'm a little bit disappointed. I think I can give the money back to our clients. If my boss will be around, he's kicking my ass here. Coming with a tray. My scallops up. Ooh. I just had a pan-fried scallop. Absolutely stunning. I was red. I have to say, after that scallop dish that I've just had, my vote has been completely swayed. It was phenomenal. Perfectly cooked. Lovely. Mm. Perfectly cooked. That's the best dish I've tasted so far tonight. This is actually my um, third scallop because it's so divine. It's been my favourite thing this evening. Well, the scallop's been my favourite so far, yeah. It wasn't really overpowering, but it was, wasn't greasy and it was a nice sweetness to it. The uh, execution of the cooking of the scallop was perfect. It was very moist and just the right temperature. Five minutes, good dessert. So here I am piping again. I see to the judges, never again in my last challenge. So it just seems to work at a very consistent pace. We call it sue time. Sue time. You have to go fast and loose is melting in. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Just the heat of the kitchen, the ones that were sitting there started to get very, very soft. And I was watching and thinking, oh no, not like that. Uh, it's still warm here and the uh, mousse is starting running away. Not very, not very heavy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a little bit stressed at this point, but really, really could only just do what we can and find the best ones to give to the guests. Vanilla mascarpone with amaretto and coffee and spuma. Thank you. It's quite strong on the coffee, but, but it's good. The texture's great. I really love that. You know, it was kind of intricate and complicated, and yet it was still easy to eat. The coffee is very strong and works very, very well. Good texture, nice flavours. Blue team definitely winning for me at the moment. Just like your vanilla bean and mascarpone. Oh, what? Wonderful. Thank you very much. You hear that, guys? The kids are loving the vanilla. Ah, oh, it feels great, but it's, you know, we can't rest on our laurels right now. We've got to keep pumping, keep pumping. We've nearly finished all of our visite, nearly all of our desserts are out. Scallops are gone, ravioli's gone. We're nearly home. Oh, no. You wouldn't serve these to guests. They're just rolling off the spoons. When they're getting soft, they're starting to look just disgraceful, really. I really didn't want to serve some of them. Because the mousse has been brought out and it's not frozen enough. I chose the best ones to be taken to the guests, and some were, we, we wouldn't have taken them to anybody. We put our all into that afternoon. I don't think I'd worked ever so hard in my whole life. All I know, mate, is, is I've, I've worked my ass off, and um, I just hope that's enough. I hope the flavour was OK. I checked it with my um, the head chef. Someone's a loser, someone's going home. Um, we know that. We know that. The chilli chocolate mousse, I think it was. It was better. I think that was delicious. It was sweet, there's a little bit of spice. It was really good. 
very, very fruity and lovely. The red team has my vote.